What's up, guys? Hi. This is Gerardo and Olivia Castañeda. We are the Castañedas. And we're coming at you from... A friend's house. Friend's house yes. in Royce City. Texas. Uh, Texas. Um, there, there, there's a whole story with this, but we're not going to go into that detail, into those details. Today, we actually want to talk about our story. We want to share our Finally. story. Finally. We want to um, share with you guys how we met and how Dating everything happened. Marriage. Yeah. So here's what, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make this a series of videos. We're going to probably make two to three parts. We'll we're gonna, see how long it gets. Yeah, we're going to record them in the same year at the same time at the same time, but we're going to split it. That way it's easier for you guys to hear the whole story. Uh, but so we're going to start with how we met. Yeah, so um, if you guys don't know, uh, we wanted to sit down and record this video because we get asked all the time and so we can have all the details. But yeah. um, so we both went to BFSM, Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry last year, and we were actually two of the first to apply to the school. Um, There's a long process for us to find Bethel, but the reason we met is because of the school, mm -hmm. um, for sure. So, I mean, outside of the Lord. So we were the first to get accepted. We both got put into a Facebook group for other people to meet, for everyone to meet, um, that we're going to be first-year students because it's an international school. So they want you to have friends because a lot of people go alone like we did. Yeah. We knew nobody, um, nobody unless we had met each other. So we got on there in December. A guy that we knew from that page, he started setting up Zoom calls. And he was he, like, hey. He ended up not going, by the way. <laughs> yeah, he actually ended up not going. So you know who you are if you're watching this. But um, the Lord just had other plans for him. But he ended up setting up some Zoom calls. And we ended up, me and our friend Eliza, and him kind of ended up taking them over. And once we found out this guy wasn't going, and on these Zoom calls is where we finally saw each other. Yeah. Faces. So it was like, uh, I think it was January 2nd when that Zoom call was. No, or, it was it was the end of December when the Zoom call was. True, 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 true. And like two uh -huh. days after that, I decided to message her. So, well, the Zoom call. So it was a bunch of people and, oops, sorry. <laughs> uh, it was a bunch of people. And of course she was there. I was there. And since the moment I just saw her, yeah, I just the first thought was, wow, she's crazy. <laughs> and then I was like, she's crazy for Jesus. And it just, but it was not like, a, oh, I like her. It was just, yeah. she's interesting. She's, she, she seems nice. What and really got him was how I prayed. <laughs> so it just she, she seemed pretty and, and nice to me. And but I was not in. I was not looking for it. I was not just like, oh, I want to get married now. I was just being there, and I saw her. Anyways, two days after that, or a day and a half after January second, <laughs> January second of twenty twenty one. Um, I decided to message her through Facebook Messenger, and I'm a nice person, and so I answered. Very nice person, and I was just. We just started talking about songs. I asked her what her songs, her favorite songs were. I asked her this. I asked her a couple questions. Not too much. I didn't want to be like, like show signals, but I mean, I think it was pretty clear. But still, I was not trying to. I was just not like, oh, I like her. So what do you yeah. think when I... Uh, when he messaged me, it was kind of funny because... I had scrolled and saw his Facebook profile because we're in this group. I was going to other people who I actually wanted a friend out of it. And I saw him and he was the only one. I was actually looking at all the guys' profile pictures. And he was the only one I looked at and I said, oh, he's cute. And I friended him and I kept scrolling. Didn't think anything of it. I was like, mm, I, know, I know who this guy is. Like, like when I saw him on the Zoom call, I was like, that's this guy and he's cute. And... Um, I just didn't think much of it. He ended up messaging me, and it was kind of funny because I was like, oh, here they come. These guys are going to start messaging me or something. And um, 
he messaged me and quickly I have to say that we just became best friends like within a week like we haven't gone 24 hours without talking since that day yeah but um like that week we became best friends like I think we just were talking about the bible we talked about Jesus we talked about music we seemed to like the same things um like just well, just like we 21 also, questions to the max yeah we were also talking about um where we come from our parents yeah. uh they were just getting to know each other like what happened why do you leave this church and why do you stay like stuff like that we were just yeah. getting to know each other it was not like it, it was not uh, i like you you like me it was just yeah. like we were good friends we started being good friends so we were uh, talking or texting back and forth, getting to know each other for like three weeks. And then um, I was actually doing a fundraiser poster. If you guys are know any ministry school people, you know the one that's like, hey, buy this box, you know, for this much money. Yeah, I did that. And so I was coloring it and I was like, hey, I can't text you and do this at the same time. Do you just want to call me? And he freaked, freaked out. out. Well, she didn't know this <laughs> didn't after know that, I so told no. her. I was in the living room of my house, and and I was I told my brother, and I was like, she wants me to call her. It's like, oh my gosh! And I just freaked out, and I jumped to the couch, and I went to my room, and I was like, okay, I'm going to call her. And how long was that? Phone call, Our like phone call was like hours. two hours or something like that. Three, actually. I, I think it was, it was like, like two hours. hours. And we just talked about a lot of things. But in, in that phone call, actually, the Lord or the Holy Spirit just started showing me things without me trying. I was just like saying, do you this and this and this. And just I had a feeling. It's not like the Holy Spirit came on over me and I started having these revelations. It's like just questions. And I knew it was the Holy Spirit. And. Yeah, That's he basically all. read my whole life to me, <laughs> and it freaked me out, and I was like, okay, this is weird. Anywho, so we end that call, and we're messaging back and forth late at night, because it is late at night, because he was in Honduras, and I was in Georgia in the United States, so we were two hours apart, mm -hmm. and um, so it was like his 10 p.m., my like 12 a.m., um, <laughs> but so we were messaging back and forth, and he was like, I don't know if I should say this or not. And I was like, I know what you're going to say, but what are you going to say? And he was like, I love you. And I was like, whoa, dude, I don't want a relationship. I'm not looking for that. Yeah. We're just going to be friends. Anyways. No, so, hold on. That's the important part. He told me later that it was a translation error, but he knew what he was doing. And he knew enough English. No, no, English. no. no. I, I did know what I was doing, but I also knew that it, it is easily a translation error. So I was like, okay. It would save my butt if I say that it was just a translation error. Because some, I people, freaked out. some people just say that easily. So I was like, I'm going to see what happens. I I'm going to see what happens. So I, I said it and I was like, oh, wait, this actually means I, I, I appreciate you. Not what you think it is. And, but I actually meant it. But I was like, oh, shoot, I got to save my butt now. So, so I did that and. Yeah. yeah, she found about found out about this like we were engaged a couple months ago. Yeah, we were engaged, and I was like, "You're kidding me! You lied to me and told me it was a translation error." <laughs> oh my gosh! So anywho, I was like, "This guy's really progressive," but I like him, so I'm not gonna get rid of him. So um, he had kind of captured my attention just a little bit. Mm -hmm. If you ask any of our family, they, we definitely got each other's attention because yeah. everyone else became <laughs> oblivious. Yeah, because after that, we would have. Phone call after phone call. Like phone five call. to eight hour phone calls. No, like, eight hours. We had it like later. A couple times. Yeah, but, but like it was two to five I hours. I would get off work at five. I would call him about 6.37 and we would talk all the way into like 2, 3 a.m. sometimes. Mm -hmm. And like he would eat dinner on the phone with me. Sometimes I would skip dinner on accident. <laughs> but through I would the course. Too. I would too. I would eat at yeah. 1 a.m. Through the course of this time. We actually found out that we had the same dreams, like mm -hmm. actual tangible in the night dreams, yes. where we said same sentences. We saw like like he saw his wife, I saw my husband, but there were different details that were out. But we knew that each other had those inner qualities. 
Um, and then we come to find out that I had a list and he has a list. My list was very different to hers. She had like a 27, had 27 things, list. things I was like a couple things list and they were very specific. So, but okay. These are, we're going to go into more yeah. of these details. If in you want to know about our list. Next part. Uh, we basically told, uh, how we met and how we started yeah. a relationship. We're going to go into more of those details uh, in the next video. Uh, we're going to talk about what those dreams were, some of the things in the list, and uh, how we just found out about this, and also how we started our relationship. So, yeah, so dating, engagement, and then yeah. I guess we'll probably do a third part for marriage. Basically, yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be a third part. We'll add some pictures in there. So yeah. if you're interested in that, go watch it. Um, it will be up after this video so you'll see this video and then it'll be up a couple days later yeah. but stay tuned for it subscribe turn on your post notifications so you get notified to follow the story and comment follow us on social media as well yeah. we we sometimes we post some things in there and you might enjoy it so it's yeah in the description let box. us yeah it's in the description let us know what you want if you have any questions just let us know and we'll answer so, so now on to part two which picks up right here yeah Thank you.